Okay, now that we have the Cortex on, the radio turned on, the Cortex is plugged into the USB port, the software is installed, and we have successful USB driver installation. We're going to come down here, we're going to go to the Cortex software, we're going to fire it up. Okay, once we fire up the software, we're going to notice a bunch of items here first. I want to cover, you're going to be able to see your software version, the firmware version in the Cortex, device serial number, um, an update firmware button, save as button, load button, reset button, read all button, write all button. The very first thing we want to make sure when we turn on the software is that this here says USB cable detected and this here says connected. This lets us know that the USB cable is correctly recognized by the software and connected is the Cortex is on. I'm going to turn the Cortex off here and we'll see, you can see what happens here. It says no connection, is the device powered? And I'm also going to plug in the, unplug the USB cable. It says no USB cable detected. So there's a USB cable detected. and the Cortex powered on. So this is the very first tab. This is the global tab. Here you're going to be able to select the language you want to use. There's a quick picture to show you how to hook it up to the USB port. Again, the white wire towards the Cortex label. You have an update firmware button, a load, file if you have a saved file for settings, a reset the factory default, a read all. The save as and the write all are grayed out right now because I have not read from the Cortex yet. When you first start this, you have to read from the Cortex because if you don't read from the Cortex, the software doesn't know what settings are in there. So for example, if I click to the very next tab here, it says to begin, use the global tab and click read. I'm gonna go back to the global tab here and click read all. Now my write all and save as is lit. If we come down here to the factory defaults box, you'll see I have a green equal sign. This tells me that the software Realize, recognizes that the settings inside the Cortex are the factory defaults. I have not made any changes. Down here, when I get the green equal sign, that's telling me that what is on this tab of the Cortex software is the settings that are inside the Cortex. So now I can save the settings that are in the Cortex as a file. If I had made some custom changes and I wanted to try something different, I can save the file, make the changes, and then if I didn't like it, come back in later, load that exact same file back into the Cortex and not have lost any of my settings. So this is the very first tab here, the global tab. It's pretty straightforward as the stuff that you see here. There's really not much you can do. Um, there is one thing to note. Under the global tab, when you do read all, it reads all the settings from the Cortex. And if you choose write all, it will write all the settings from all the different tabs into the Cortex. So say you come in here and you make changes in bank one, bank two, and you want to quickly just come back to the global tab and hit write all. It will write all the changes that you made in bank one and bank two to the Cortex. Conversely, if you're only in bank one page, you read the bank one and you hit write, it only writes the settings from this page. It does not write the settings from bank two options or RC. The global page is the only place where write all writes all the settings to the Cortex. The next video I'm going to break down is going to be on the RC tab.